Welcome back. Uh, I'm Luke, uh, and I'll be going over some uh, end user experience features that are new in J2018. <coughs> so we've got uh, hint box, uh, hint text for text boxes, alternating background colors for list boxes and tables, a uh, new version of the multimedia player, uh, some improvements for the rich text control, pixel based scrolling for tables. Uh, progress display on the application icon and some skin improvements. So for the hint text, uh, we've added that to the text box control so you can specify some text prior to user input, sort of reducing the need for labels and such. Uh, it's only displayed when the control's text property is empty of course and as you'd expect regardless of what data type property is set to, so numeric and password is displayed as you'd expect. Uh, the hint text box properties are on the specifics sheet on the <coughs> Painter Properties dialog and controls the text value, the back color, and for color. Uh, we've also added the ability to set alternating background colors to the list box and Jade table sheet controls to help visually differentiate items. The new alternating row back color property sort of explains itself, it sets the color. The count property, the alternating row back color count, uh, dictates the frequency of the colored background items. So by default it's zero, meaning off, uh, meaning of one, meaning it's all on. Uh, they're all colored and n will color every nth row. <coughs> For the Jade Multimedia Control, it's been upgraded to provide an alternate version that uses .NET. Uh, this new version provides access to new style media files such as MP4s and you can opt in by setting the use .NET version property to true. If the play bar is shown, it's drawn using WPF entities, and although it has a slightly different look, it behaves in much the same manner, although with the inclusion of a close command, so you can close the current medium being shown. The rich text controls now supports the carriage returns, or now better supports carriage returns, I should say, with the additional prop, uh, boolean property one to return. So previously when we hit enter in a rich text control uh, and we have a default button on the form, we'll cause a click event on that button. Uh, so now we can enter a carriage return in the rich text control when the want return property is set to true, even if we do have a default button. Uh, we've also fixed an issue that prevented the navigation to a URL when the rich text control was set to read only. It now works. Um, the table sheet, the J table sheet control has three new properties. Uh, pixel horizontal scroll in increment, pixel vertical scroll increment, and uh, the scroll mode. So these properties simply set the number of pixels that are scrolled in a particular direction, uh, provided the scroll mode is set to uh, both pixel, meaning it scrolls hor horizontally and vertical using pixels. Uh, horizontal pixel vertical cell or vertical pixel horizontal cell uh, or the default uh, cell only which means the other two increment properties are ignored just scrolls by cell. Additionally we've added an extended column property which specifies uh, one column to expand to fit the remaining space of the table if available when the auto size property is set to true. So progress on application icon Icon. We can now display the progress and state of an operation directly on the applications. On the previous feature you just talked about, we mm. used it with fill in the bottom section if the auto, auto, auto size was set to true. If there were, if, if there were five more rows, what would it do? Uh, uh, it would expand the one column that you designate to fit to the end of the. Is that what you meant? Uh, we can now display the progress and state of an operation directly on the application's taskbar icon. Uh, two methods have been added to the form class, uh, set taskbar state and set taskbar progress. Uh, the set taskbar progress is probably self-explanatory, it sets the progress similar to a progress bar. The set taskbar state can be set to one of five states, um, which are defined as constants on the form class, which set the color. So no progress will hide the progress on the icon. The error state will set it to red, false state will set it to yellow, normal state will set it to green. We've also got a 
indeterminate state, green, which will just loop the progress from zero to its max value uh, indefinitely. So that can be used to display that we're currently doing something, but the completion time is unknown. You can also control this display directly from the progress bar control, which has been given a Boolean property, show task bar progress, uh, which can be set in painter and runtime to show the progress of the application's icon as well. And its progress is updated automatically when its parts done property is updated. <coughs> We've added a collection of improvements for skins, such as uh, button and jade mask control transparency, uh, checkbox skins and table controls, uh, color of selected items in this box and table skins, some menu skins, uh, rollover foreground colors, and additional skin table colors. So the handling of the button and jade mask skins have been upgraded so that when either control is skinned and at least one of the skin images is 32-bit, meaning the alpha channel is used uh, for transparency, the control will be treated as though it's transparent. This means that the control will be painted on its parent without the error being erased with the effective back color. Instead, the parent will show through any transparent areas of the image and allow for smooth anti-aliased corners, uh, for example. <coughs> the skin definition for a table now includes the ability to specify a jade skin checkbox. This enables you to define a skin for a table control and specify a checkbox skin that is used when either drawing the cell that has input type property set to input type checkbox, or a cell control that is set to a checkbox control. Uh, you can now modify the background and foreground of selected items in list boxes and tables. And the jade skin list box and jade skin table classes have new, two new properties. Uh, selection color text, which just controls the color, uh, text color of the selected item. Um, and the, selected, the selection color property, which controls the color that is used to draw a background color of a selected item in a skinned list box or table. And these can be set in the skin maintenance dialog. The default values of both properties are transparent, which means the default selection colors defined by Windows are used as per usual. Three new properties have been added to control the way in which menus are displayed, which are accessible via the form and menu she sheets of the Jade Skin Maintenance form. The Jade Skin form class now provides a new property which is controlled by the Use Menu Item me I'll start again. Use Menu Line Options for Menu checkbox on the form sheet. This controls whether the menu line options of a form is used to draw menu line items. So things you see there, such as font, foreground, and background color. And if this property is false, the menus are not skinned and just drawn in the default file. Otherwise, they use the values defined here. Now, both the JadeSkin form and JadeSkin menu classes have an added property named draw menu selection flat, which are controlled by similarly named checkboxes in the, in the associated form and menu she sheets of the JadeSkin maintenance dialog. The new JadeSkin property, the new JadeSkin form property affects how the selected item in the menu line is drawn, so the top two images you see here. And the new JadeSkin menu property affects how the selected item in the menu pop-up is drawn, uh, the bottom two. So if that property is false, uh, the left two, the selected item is drawn using the usual selection back in four colors, so often we'll get a black border uh, surrounding the selected menu item or line item. If it's true, the right two. The selected item is always drawn in a flat manner using the colors selected alongside the checkboxes with no surrounding border. So it gives a well, flatter look. So in order to accommodate skin designs that prefer a dark four color for buttons in a particular state, the Jade Skin Window State Image class has a new integer property named four color, uh, which defines the color of the text for a defined window state of a button, folder, sheet tab, or jade mask. The default value is transparent, so no, so by default no four color is applied to the controls text color by the window state. And as I mentioned here, this property is controlled via the window state images sheet of the Jade Skin Maintenance dialog. So for example, when the mouse is moved over a button and an image rollover value is defined for that state, 
the texture draw is the, using the four color property value when it's not the default transparent value. Uh, the jade skin table class has the following additional properties to control the drawing of table skins. Alternating row back color, which specifies its color. Alternating row back color count, which specifies that every nth row is colored. Fixed 3D, which specifies how the fixed cells are drawn, either th as 3D elements, not, or uh, can er inherit the table's fixed 3D property instead. Uh, the fixed columns back color and fixed rows back color self-explanatory. The fixed row colour has precedence property. Uh, this controls how the cells are drawn that are in both a fixed row and fixed column. So when it's true, the fixed row's back colour takes precedence. Uh, when it's false, the fixed column's back colour is used. <coughs> 